Hello and welcome to Advertisers Watching Ads. This is a weekly show where brands watch other brands' ads. Mumbai is a very colourful, rich, interesting city. I just don't think it comes across in the ad like that. And I think that they have a bad history of strength of mobile network and they're trying to figure out how to address like a bad reputation. Before we crack on with this week's show, I would like to advertise this brilliant virtual event that Automated Creative are running. So if you're a marketer and you've got a significant Q4 spend committed, this show is going to make sure that all of that lovely media money is going to go on the right creative and produce the right result for you this holiday or Christmas season, depending on where you're from. All of the links are in the show notes or whatever platform you're watching this on. Somewhere down there, there's a link. Sign up. See you there. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tom Ollerton. I'm the founder of Automated Creative. We are the creative effectiveness ad tech platform. But this week, we're going to look at some ads. So let's meet this week's guests. Uh, Rebecca Dykema. I'm a SVP of partnerships and creative transformation at a company called CreativeX. And it's great to be here. Duarte Guerrero, VP growth marketing at a company called Vol. What a panel and what an ad. This is quite a unusual bit of work for the V network uh, in India, in Mumbai. Inventive, creative. Let's take a look. Mumbai, bade sapno wala, bade bhiil wala, bada pechi da shahar. Yaha roz umid phone ka haath tha me ghar se nikalti hai aur ek strong telecom network ki dhalgan par chalti hai. To humne socha, is dhalgan ko kyon aur mazboot kiya chahe, ek torture test kiya chahe. Par kaise karenge? Yeh hai Mumbai meri jaan. Is insani makar jaal me itni galiyaan kuche mohalle hain ki koi bhi na pahunch pa. Isliye hum aaye 134 saal purane human network pe. Six Sigma rated lunch delivery service Mumbai ki aankh ka tara dabba wala Hamare engineers ne ek naya tarika nikala aur dabbe walon ke sath ki ek anokhi saajedari Banan mere ka wait koi aur Salil ye to aawaz maza jo wala kare bana wala ka banwa ja dabbe wale मुंबई की नस नस में हमें भी साथ लेते थे और शहर के हर आले तिरछे कोने में वी नेटवर्क का इस्तेमाल करके हमें फीडबैक भेजते गए हमारे इंजीनियर्स ने रियल टाइम नेटवर्क स्ट्रेंथ को जांचा और कमजोर इलाकों में नेटवर्क को बेहतर कर दिया गया और बस इस अलग सोच ने बढ़ा दी वी की पहुंच वी ने इंडिया के हर कोने में पहुंचने की ठानी है और अभी जारी है कहानी So I'm, I'm going to ask you to give a vote out of five. One, two, three. Whoa, we don't get a one very often on this show. Do I? Rebecca, interesting video, but what's actually going on here? So I did not know V before watching this ad. So I did a little bit of research. It's quite a new brand, just launched in 2018. It's been suffering some pretty, like as a company, it's been suffering a pretty tough couple of years since it launched. It's like top three, apparently in India but um, has quite a lot of debt that it's trying to overcome. And so as a result, hasn't had the opportunity to invest into its network, which as you can imagine, as a telecoms company is a pretty big challenge. So it makes sense, I suppose, that they would launch a campaign that's all about sort of the strength of their network. The creative, personally, I kind of loved, and maybe I'm a sucker for cheesy, cheesy adverts, but um, I kind of, especially in the telecom space, liked the idea of getting back to back to people and like the people that sort of really make your, you know, your life, what it is and your environment, what it is. And I felt like this was an interesting combination of sort of bridging the gap between like high tech technology and saying, actually, we're going to use people, the beautiful Dabawala landscape in uh, Mumbai to kind of improve our tech. So I thought that was an interesting combination of things. I similarly had never heard of V before. I also had no idea what a Dabawala was, uh, and that's my own uh, ignorance. But my first question on this ad is, who is it for and what is it trying to accomplish? I mean, I kind of got the sense that it was a B2B ad because they talk about Six Sigma, which is kind of something that only really professionals would, would understand. Uh, so it's not for everyone. I didn't get what the ad was trying to tell me, uh, strictly from a marketing perspective perspective and not talking about the creative. I get that there's a human element to it. 
but it doesn't really come across in the creative very well, in my opinion. Mumbai is a very colorful, rich, interesting city. I just don't think it comes across in the ad like that. Although it talks about the double wallers as this network of people, it doesn't really feature people. There's no humanity in the ad. If you strip it from everything else, it's a very standard kind of telecoms ad. It's dull. It doesn't really move the needle from a consumer perspective. And from a B2B, I'm very confused as to who it's for and what is it trying to accomplish. The Dabawalas are super famous. They're like a very famous concept, you know, this idea of like a very famous sort of institution of sorts, Mm. I think is this idea that it's like hyper efficient and effective, that they're known for being really top quality as a result of their um, sort of professional alliance. I know what Six Sigma is. I did not know what the Dabawalas were. You say they're very famous. I, I assume that that's true in India. I don't know if that's actually true in the rest of the world. And my question is, is V a network provider just for India? Is this a global campaign? It comes back to the question, who is this for and what is it trying to accomplish? And in my perspective, that is not clear. And most importantly, I don't think they they squeezed what they could. out. If they did do a campaign like this, a kind of grassroots people on the streets, like they should have made the ad less corporate-y. They should have made it more human led. Interestingly, because I also felt that it was very much like a kind of, there was a degree of sort of stale 30 second ad slot in it. And I've sort of come from more of a digital landscape. It's not optimized for mobile. Like it's, you know, it's a very sort of standard TV ad. It's quite intense in terms of timeline. They do outtakes though. So if you go out to YouTube, there are YouTube shorts where they take, they aren't outtakes per se, but they follow these characters sort of around town where they, you know, they show the Dabawalas interacting with other people who are like having trouble with their Wi-Fi, And it's pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, it looks to me like they have, this is clearly sort of the corporate version and they have done sort of more, more, um, digital activations as well. We shouldn't have to do any digging to kind of get the essence of the campaign, right? So who do you think this sort of long form corporate video is for? Yeah, I mean, I think that this is this is B2C. And I think that they have a bad history of strength of mobile network. And they're trying to figure out how to address like a bad reputation. I think it's quite an ingenious way of doing it. You could say that it's, you know, sort of a stale attempt. Um, but I think that they've partnered with a an institution in the Dabba Wallas, which are really well known, well known for their efficiency, well known for their coverage of a city. So I spent time at Comcast in the early 2000s, and they really struggled with reputation. And it's hard. It's hard to overcome like a bad rep in an environment where you've got so much infrastructure to you know, to manage and the investment required to fix that type of problem is significant. And I think this is a pretty smart way of using, you know, narrative and storytelling and alignment with like, you know, a local concept to, I guess, sort of drive a sense of comfort. So what would make this better? On a pure creative level, if we're not talking strategy or targeting or positioning, which I think we should, but purely creative, I think if this ad, if this spot is about the people in Mumbai and the people carrying the network with them, then it should be focused on the people. It should be less polished. It should be less corporate. It should be shorter. It should be more digitally led and digitally focused. Maybe have piece to cameras from people actually on the streets, on their phones, some of the Dabawalas. So that kind of approach um, that would make the target audience feel like V is part of the people and it is led by humans. This doesn't give me that at all. If anything, it detaches the network from the reality of Mumbai as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's funny because we actually ran it through our like uh, YouTube ABCD adherence um, tool and uh, it's adherence to basic um, digital best practices is relatively low. Our creative quality score was about 46%. And the majority of the areas where it fell short was in branding and call to action. And typically branding and call to action are much more important when you're looking at lower funnel metrics. My take is that this is very much an upper funnel effort. They're trying to reposition their brand entirely. And so call to action around pricing or where to find them, like, you know, where they are. The question is, do you believe that they provide a great experience? And that to me is what they're, what they're trying to address. So would you sign this off in its current guise? Thumbs up or down? One, two, three. I liked it. There you have it. We'll see you all next week. 